Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Chris Gamer 1025, and tonight we are back here live for CJM. We are here right after tribute to the troops. And well, there's going to be a major announcement tonight about what the next pay per view is, but we all know we're here live here live in Cincinnati, Ohio for this time CJM. I think tonight is going to be exciting. And here we go, we start off the match. Oh, the first match of the night is going to be the United Tag Team Championships on the line. The New Day versus the Viking Raiders here. Another rematch here tonight that we didn't get to see a tribute to the troops. It's going to happen tonight, and I'm curious to see who's going to walk away with those titles. Uh, Casey Kenanzaro is going to face Isla Dawn for the next match. That one's going to be a good, respectable match to see which one of these two women will come on top of there trying to climb the mountain of the female takeover division. Next, speaking about the female takeover division, it will be Naomi taking on Candice Lee Ray here tonight in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Who knows, maybe they might impress the general manager and they might get a title shot later down the line against Nikki Cross. That's a possibility. Next, we have Humberto Carrillo versus Andrade. You guys have been asking for it. Humberto Carrillo has been wanting it. Andrade wants to come back to action. What better way to start off the career of Humberto Carrillo if he defeats Andrade tonight. We shall see. This is a dream match for a few. We know Chavo's apprentice is Humberto, and we're going to see if he can defeat Andrade here tonight. But the main event, it is a number one contenders match for the CJM Championship. Will it be Roman Reigns? Will it be Randy Orton heading and going head to head here tonight? Roman versus Randy. Whoever wins goes to face Pete Dunne at whatever the next pay-per-view is that we have no idea yet. But both these men have a big opportunity and they want nothing but to win tonight to get to that world title. So, we shall simulate through the match card right now. As oh, the Viking Raiders retain again. I guess there's no biggie, there's no powerhouse. So the Viking Raiders still have an advantage there. And Isla Dawn defeating Casey Catanzaro. There are no hard feelings between the two. Two are, I guess, uh, mutual friends. We shall see what happens with this match, though, as we have two other mutual fence friends here tonight gonna face each other right now. Ladies and gentlemen, there's our brand new CJM champion, Pete Dunn. Well, I'd just like to say, first of all, I don't want to take too much of anybody's time, but I would like to appreciate and thank all my fans for giving me this opportunity to be CJM champion. Now, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this and be like any other guy up here saying thank you. I went through what hell of a war, and I like to thank my opponents first and foremost. Tetsuya Naito, that king of the ring. I went through a whole tournament just to get to the finals, and I defeated him. He was a very good competitor. Then, I had to face Johnny Gargano, which obviously he wasn't at 100%, but he still tried his best in his match. And then, the week after, I had to defend my title again, this time against a 100% Johnny Gargano. So, it begs the question to see what's next for me. What's next for Pete Dunne and his CJM championship? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's tonight when Roman takes on Randy Orton. I think Roman Reigns and Randy Orton have pretty good chemistry, but I think whichever man will win, even if it's both of them, I'll defeat them in their match. Now, there's no telling what the next pay-per-view is, but I'm expecting some competition, and I'm expecting a tough fight, not a match, a fight, and that's what I want. I'm the bruiserweight, and I expect nothing less but a brawl. I will see Roman or Randy Orton at the next pay-per-view. I'll make sure of that and I'll make sure I'll retain my title. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Pete Dunne speaking facts here tonight, speaking his ways, and well, obviously Pete Dunne, the brand new CJM champion, first ever time he's held holding a world title, he has to be feeling pretty damn good. Tonight, we will decide who will be his number one contender and what will be the next pay-per-view. And now, here we go. 
I can already tell this match is going to be good. Naomi versus Candice LeRae here tonight. As you can see, Naomi's feeling it here tonight. Everybody's going to feel the glow here in CJM. To me, this woman needs to be the next female takeover champion. There's no doubt about it. Somehow, some way, she's going to have to pull it off. And, well, I think she can in pretty big fashion. I mean, who knows? Maybe Naomi can pull it off. Maybe she can be the next champ. But she faces Candice Lee Ray here tonight. Oh, Naomi's very excited to be here, and we know that she has a big opportunity at her uh, disposal, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We have Candice Lee Ray. Coming out here tonight, which recently her husband, Johnny Gargano, lost at Tribute to the Troops, and he also lost at King of the Ring. Unfortunately, losing his CJM championship to the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, but right now, I mean, she has to focus on Naomi and not focus on, uh, on Johnny Gargano. Heartbreaking loss, but you know what? That's just how it is here in CJM and pure wrestling. Losses do happen. As she gets the crowd pumped up and ready, I mean, these two are mutual friends and they want nothing but to have the best matchup for the people here tonight. And the bell has rang, these two are gonna go at it. I don't think we've seen this matchup before here in CJM, not to my memory. Not even a simulated match between the two and a clean break between the two here tonight. And, oh, I thought they were going to go back into that corner, but no. Naomi takes down Candice LeRae and a big punch right to the face there. And now, going to go from behind. Candice LeRae, oh, brought down there. And now Candice Lee Ray, oh, gets tossed down by Naomi. Big kick, but no. Oh, God, spinning heel kick there from Candice Lee Ray. Amazing effort there by these two. And now they're going to go on the outside for that environmental damage. Hold on. Hurricane Rana right on the outside. And now throwing her right into the barricade there. And now throwing her back inside the ring. Now we're going to pick her up. Hold on now, Candice. Oh, big chop there. And no countering. Oh, goodness. And Naomi, oh, almost tried for a, it looked like a flipping clothesline there, but didn't quite get it. Now Candice Lee Ray has Naomi in her grasp. And, oh, sit-out jawbreaker there. Naomi kicks to the ribs. Now she's going to do some damage there in the corner, trying to pull it off there as she tries yet again. Naomi's going to pick her up and now throw her right to the apron there. She stays on it. I don't know what she's going to do. Puts her back inside the ring. Smart decision. Going to go for the cover to see if she can pin her down, but no. Kick out there by, uh, oh, by Candice Lee Ray. And now look at this. Oh, God, clothesline right to the apron. Missile drop kick down low. Now, here she goes. She's going to pick her up now. Candice Lee Ray almost went for that forearm strike. Missile drop kick there from Naomi. These two exchanging blows quite often here in this match. As Naomi is pumped up, she is ready to go. Huge head scissors there. Hits to the head. And now look at this, Naomi puts her in the corner. Naomi wants to go for something here. I think I know what she wants to go for. Look out. It's that patented split-legged moonsault. Down goes Candice Lee Ray, but oh, whoa, whoa, never mind. She sat up straight. And she turning 
that leg turning that knee not very good for the knee of Naomi but Naomi now big kick to the gut no reversal Candice Lee Ray going for submission hold here but no too close to the ropes very close to the ropes I don't think she wants to do that anymore and drops her leg right down and Candice Lee Ray look at this off to the rope or to the turnbuckle padding I should say and now Candice Lee Ray looking to go for a tornado DDT planting her right down on the canvas planting her right in the middle of the ring Candice Lee Ray has a hold of her I don't know what she's gonna do right now but let's see what she does here tonight goes to the ropes Irish whip ducks under and Hurricane Rana yet again Candice Lee Ray, when she's in the zone, she's a very smart competitor. I will tell you that for sure. And now puts her right on the apron. And oh my, we've seen this time and time again. The apron DDT right down to Naomi. Leaving her incapacitated. Man, these two really want to impress the general manager to see if they can get a title shot very soon. Look out, Naomi picks up Candice Lee Ray. And now she's going to throw her right on top of the steel steps. Talk about taking an apron DDT and then turning things around and leveling Candice Lee Ray right on the steps. Very smart there. Naomi, she goes back. No, she get, almost got thrown back. Oh, my God. The neck of Naomi hitting the canvas, hitting the floor hard. That's not good. That's not good news at all. As Candice Lee Ray slowly but surely gets back inside the ring. She's gonna well, do more damage there. Kick Niobe down. Now she's gonna pin her. Will that really put her away though? No, not at all. Using the strikes to her advantage, using the kicks. And I don't know if uh, Candice Lee Ray can finish things off here. Oh, goodness. Candice Lee Ray, the only member left of Team Kick that is standing, honestly. I mean, the other two members of Team Kick are, are injured. You know, sadly, they're injured, and they're not able to wrestle at all. Now, here we go. Going for the arm. As Naomi is struggling to get out of it. Will she get out of this hold, though? I mean, it, it looks quite painful. Oh, slamming her arm right down on the floor. Now Irish Whip, Irish Whip to Candice Lee Ray, and now Candice Lee Ray is going to get dumped back inside the ring. I thought she was going to go for a little revenge and do the apron DDT, but I guess not. Midsection kick, down goes Candice Lee Ray face first. Will it be over from here? The cover, Naomi has it right here, right now. And what? No, a kick out from Candice Lee Ray. I don't know how she did it. But she kicked out of it. But will she get kicked out of this? Will she kick out of this? Oh, no. Down she goes. Naomi has a chance. She has a chance to pin Candice Lee Ray right here, right now. The cover. One, two, and a kick out from Candice Lee Ray. That perseverance, that integrity only reminds me of one person, one man, and one man only. Of Johnny Gargano. And look at this, Naomi. She's fired up. Oh, down she goes. Naomi now going to pick up Candice Lee Ray. Put her right there in the corner. I think she's going to go for that split legged moonsault. And it's going to work to perfection for her plan. Down she goes again. If Candice Lee Ray kicks out of this, I don't even know what to say. There's just no way. What? She kicked out again. She kicked out again. How would she keep kicking out of all this? And go, but she missed it. Oh, God, high kick. Right to the face. She missed the rear view, though. Spinning heel kick by Candice Lee Ray. Amazing Candice Lee Ray. Oh, God, with that single knee. That single knee right to the face. Might have knocked her silly, and it did. Candice Lee Ray wins the match. What an amazing effort. What a great match by Candice Lee Ray coming out victorious here tonight. And oh, wait, Naomi's up 
And I mean, I think, oh, she's going to extend her hand. What a what a smart sportsmanship shown here by the two ladies here tonight of CJM. What a fantastic match it was here for CJM. And now for this match, we'll have Humberto Carrillo versus Andrade. A match that many of men been asking for. Well, Humberto also wants the match. Who knows if he will win tonight's match. Who knows, ladies and gentlemen, because Humberto Carrillo is really, really trying his best to stay in the picture here in CJM. And I think he's he's almost has it all. I mean, he has the charisma, he has the agility. The, the, he has his own style. I mean, it, it's brand new. And I don't know if Andrade can stand that. And plus, he's Chavo's apprentice. We hired Huberto when we were in Mexico, live for Unforgiven. And well, now, I don't know what's going to happen. He is a man that shows no respect. Andrade is out here tonight to show the CJM universe that he can very well take care of this so-called rookie that he's been talking about. He said he doesn't like the buzz about Huberto Carrillo. He doesn't see it enough. That's why he wants to defeat him here tonight. But who knows if that will happen. Andrade is a big competition in his, uh, in his eyes right now. He might not see it, but we know that we see it. The universe sees it. Everybody watching at home sees the potential in Humberto Carrillo, except Andrade. Andrade sees that he's been CJ champion, Mr. Money in the Bank, international champion, all of this. And Andrade still thinks that he wants more. Finally coming back after a little while, a little hiatus after final battle. Of course, getting defeated by Braun Strowman. Ending the feud finally between the two. And now tonight, I don't know, he might look to start a new one. Here we go. The first time ever these two is going to square off here tonight. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, big slap to the chest. Well, I mean, Humberto has said that Andrade has disgraced the Lucha Libre name. The tradition that he's trying to carry out. And oh, leg sweep there by leg sweep there by oh no Huberto with the counter and now Huberto with the forearms oh springboard oh my elbow shot I mean the agility did you see how he reversed the German suplex how he went for the springboard oh knee right to the head right to the side of Andrade and oh clothesline right to the corner there Take it out, Humberto. And now, no, no, he's relentless. He's not going to stay down for good. Oh, down he goes. And the big kicks. The big kicks. And now, oh, go for going for the arm there is Andrade. Nasty maneuvers by Andrade here tonight. Look out. Puts him in the corner. Big knee right to the side of the rib there. And there's the big kicks. Look out. Oh, it gets. Ooh. A leg drop right to the back of the head. Not looking good. And Andrade now heading up to the top. Wants to embarrass his opponent like always. Oh, no. Gets embarrassed himself. The double knees right up on the moon. So, Humberto Correa with the counter. And now. Puts him in the corner, Humberto Carrillo. Oh, flying form to the face. Now gonna go for a submission hold here. Oh, God, wrenching it back. And But no, Andrade, make sure he gets out of it. And Carrillo's gonna try to do his best to take down a former world champ. And I know it's hard, but it's not impossible. Here we go. 
Irish whip from the ropes. Oh, God, he stepped in a little too close there. I think Andrade uh, kind of misstepped a little there. And now, big form to the face. Andrade going to get picked up and drop from a neck breaker there. Now, or, oh my goodness, I didn't see that one coming. Correa with the agility to jump and perfect that kick going to the skull of Andrade. And I think that might have just put him away. No. What? How? How did that not put him away? I have no idea how that did not put away Andrade. But we shall see here tonight what else, how much more can he take? Uh-oh. We've seen this before from Carrillo. Down he goes, right on top of Andrade. And now he's gonna pull him in closer to the center of the ring to make sure he gets the three count. And it is, no, not a three count. Not a three count from, for Carrillo here tonight. Didn't get the win just yet. Gonna try to, oh. Out maneuver Andrade, that beautiful missile drop kick, and Andrade rolling out to the apron there. Don't know what he's gonna go for. Look out, spear to the outside. Humberto is really taking it to Andrade. You know, Carrillo's really uh, surprising everyone right now. I mean, he did get trained by Chavo Guerrero. Oh, spinning heel kick there. One of the greats, obviously, of the. Uh, Lucha Libre style. Now getting back inside the ring. Gonna make sure Andrade gets taken down. But oh, he captures the leg there as Andrade. Very smart. Very smart maneuver. And now we've seen this maneuver time and time again. Down he goes. Now posted up in the corner. He has to be very careful what he's gonna do here tonight. As now. He's going to whiplash him back from the ropes. Look at him. Look, that's just disrespectful. He's going to embarrass Carrillo like that. And now Carrillo might have been too loopy to see where he's at right now. Because now he's going for the hammerlock DDT. Oh, no. Right on the head of Carrillo. And that might just put him away. And it does. Andrade defeats Huberto Carrillo tonight. It was a good effort by... Carrillo himself to ask for this match because people have been wanting to see it, but Andrade beats him here tonight. And Andrade obviously showing off his win to the people, being cocky as he's always been. And getting up here and it looks like he's going to be heading to the back right now, but uh, what is he doing? What is he doing? Come on, oh, come on. What the hell is this? Oh, big boot knocking Huberto Carrillo to the outside. Come on. Don't do this, Andrade. Look, oh my goodness, just landing right down. Come on, what did, what did he have to do with anything? Please don't, Andrade. No, right on the floor. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. What? First he does, he beats him, and then he beats him up after the match. What? We need an explanation for this, Andrade. Come on. You can't just do this to a young and up-and-coming star. This is so disappointing. I apologize for Andrade's actions, but this, this needs to be spoke about. Time for the main event here. We all know what these people want to see. It was, I believe, the first episode of CJM where it was Roman Reigns making his debut here and his first opponent was against Randy Orton. It was a surprise that nobody expected but Randy Orton ended up winning that match. And then this of course after that Roman took a hiatus because he had to due to a couple issues and injuries that he's been dealing with. And now finally he made his return on the four year anniversary show back to action. And now finally is gonna fight Randy Orton yet again. So it comes full circle here tonight. And now Roman Reigns is really looking to see if he can try to defeat Randy Orton here tonight. Randy Orton has won 
and O against him. And tonight it seems like it might be his night to get the chance to defeat him. And remember, this is huge. This is to determine who will face Pete Dunne for the next pay-per-view, whichever pay-per-view that is. People don't know. Uh, management are trying to decide as we speak. Uh, we're not too sure what the next pay-per-view will be. But we shall see what will happen. What will the decision be? Will we bring back an old pay-per-view? Will we make a new pay-per-view? Who knows? A lot of things can happen here in CJM Pure Wrestling, like we've been telling everybody. I mean, it's really nothing new. It's, it's just big creative plans, you know? But here is the Viper, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Randy Orton out here tonight, obviously for this big opportunity. He had a chance to beat Ali twice and he couldn't get the job done, but you know what? Now, here we're saying, Randy, fine. You want the major title? You can have a chance at the major title, but first, you have to earn it. First, you have to fight Roman Reigns and beat Roman Reigns again, so that way you can take your place as number one contender. Pete Dunne versus Roman Reigns or Pete Dunne versus Randy Orton all sounds good. I mean, all those matches sound really, really good in my opinion. Something fresh, something new as Pete Dunne is, has never been world champion before. This is his first time being a world champion. Randy Orton, he knows what it feels like to be world champion not once but twice. Roman Reigns... He knows what it feels like to be world champion once. Randy Orton has a lot of experience over Roman Reigns. I mean, obviously, he's much older, but he's very experienced. He's a veteran in the squared circle. Roman, on the other hand, yes, he's experienced. Yes, he's, uh, I guess we could say, a, a no, you know, no-brainer to the ring. He knows the ins and outs of the ring, but... We really don't know Randy Orton like that. He's a viper, he's a snake. He can catch you at any time, any place. And now here we go. The CJM Championship opportunity up for grabs. As we looked, oh, Roman Reigns trying to move up first here tonight. Oh my, oh goodness. He wants to go first so that way he can take down Randy Orton. And Orton not really having any of it. Look out as he drops the knee right on the back there. And now Roman Reigns, big uppercut there. Reigns is really feeling it here tonight. He wants to be back in action after defeating Kevin Owens. You know, and Randy Orton, oh, he wants to get back in this after suffering losses. I mean, obviously, that's not what you want to do. That's not what you want to have on your resume, suffering losses. Oh, very big toss up there by the big dog, Roman Reigns. But the Viper going for the arm. Now going to have it. He has it in his grasp. Going to do a little rest hold. But Roman obviously not agreeing with that. Reigns now, big right hand. Another uppercut. Using all his strikes to his advantage. Big clothesline to the corner. As kicks him in the leg. Randy Orton, big clothesline to the corner there. As now Roman now gets dropped down. Orton and Reigns had a very good match in the first episode. And now tonight, oh my goodness, what a pin combo. Randy Orton learning new things here, but kick out there by Roman Reigns. But like I said, learning new things here, exploring, fighting new opponents. And now tonight they get the opportunity. Oh my, drops him down with a huge suplex. And stomped on in the face there of Roman Reigns. Roman now, he's going to try his best. To, oh no, he countered the Superman punch. Randy Orton counted it into the DDT. Look out as he drops down Reigns. And now Reigns really trying to get back into it. But he's going to probably catch an RKO before he does. Now Roman with the counter. Superman punch by Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns now going to get ready for the spear. 
Roman spear in my reins. And now the cover. Will it be over? Number one contender. No kick out by Randy Orton. Randy Orton kicking out of that spear. And now, oh, going for the arm is Orton. Very smart. And now back suplex takes down Reigns. Elbow drop right to Roman right there. And now going to pick him up, but gets tossed down. Roman Reigns going maybe for a power bomb. It looks like power bomb by Reigns. Where is he going to take him? Oh, my buckle bomb right to the corner. Shouts out to his uh, brother from Pure Wrestling. Oh, shouts out to uh, the general manager for Pure Wrestling is Randy Orton as he did there. Big stomp to the face. Randy Orton now going to pick up Reigns. Clothesline and another clothesline there. Roman, oh no, I thought Roman was full, building up full head of steam there, but Randy Orton countered, and now Randy going to put him right up to the ropes yet again. And now drops him right down, right onto the canvas. Randy Orton obviously going to pick up Randy. Oh God, don't tell me he's going to go. Now Randy Orton, look at this. Randy is going to throw some punches. No, Randy Orton doesn't throw any punches. Instead gets hit with the STO. And Randy Orton's rolling out. Randy Orton rolling out of harm's way. Smart strategy here tonight. Look out. Oh, oh, Roman Reigns gets hit there. Now all these strikes doing a lot of damage. Gets thrown right in the barricade. And Randy Orton with the Russian leg sweep on the outside. Randy Orton obviously putting Roman back inside the ring. Does not want to stay outside for too long. And Randy Orton, he's going to try to find a way to get the big dog on his feet. He's going to get the big dog on his feet. Look out here. And oh no, Roman Reigns with the counter. Roman with the counter. Roman Reigns obviously wanting to do a lot of damage and tonight he's going to get that chance, that opportunity. Flipping him over out of nowhere. Randy Orton, he has to really rethink what's going on. Roman Reigns, Samoan drop there. Obviously these two having a bitter rivalry here tonight in CJM. Oh, Randy Orton with the counter. And Randy Orton wants him up on his feet. Randy Orton, look at this, the strikes, those haymakers there. That uppercut. And Randy Orton again with the strikes. The ability to take out Roman Reigns. Uh-oh. He's angering the big dog here. I don't think he wants to do that here tonight. Uh-oh, uh oh Roman Reigns with the counter. Roman now. Tornado DDT there. And uh-oh, he's saying Randy wants to throw strikes. He's going to stro throw strikes as well. Big uppercut leveling the Viper. Taking him out, obviously. Not on his feet there, Roman Reigns. Hold on, Roman Reigns, look out, clothesline to Randy Orton. And Roman Reigns, look out here. The, oh my goodness, oh God, taking down Randy Orton. Reigns doing everything he can to put everything on the line here. And I think Roman Reigns, oh goodness, is gonna take down Randy Orton, the Viper with the big kick. And hold on, the Viper now, look out, oh no, right onto the barricade and throws him right on it. That's not good, that's not good at all. Look out, Roman Reigns, oh God, right on the barricade. Reigns, obviously not getting any remorse here tonight. Look at this, oh, uh oh, Roman Reigns has no, oh, eats the clothesline. And now, Roman Reigns gonna pick up Randy Orton. He's gonna pick him up. Oh, he wanted to go for some strikes there. Didn't quite get them, look out. He's not getting what he wants. Randy Orton. Randy Orton. Oh. DDT on the outside. Very smart is this man, Randy Orton. And now he's going to put him somewhere here. Oh, goodness. Roman Reigns, obviously, he thinks that he's... Uh-oh. Randy Orton thinks that he's taken care of, but I don't think so. Reigns says, what are you doing here? Reigns. 
What are you doing, Roman? Don't do it. Wait. Reigns not off the bag. Oh, my God. Roman Reigns spear. Spear through the barricade. My God. Both men are down. And Randy Orton is crawling. But he is down and out. The referee has to count. The referee has no choice but to count. I mean, these two are down and out. The spear through the barricade really took them both out. I mean, Roman Reigns laying on Randy Orton. And I think the referee is trying to get some control around here. Don't tell me that this match will end in a count out. Then if it does, then who's going to face Pete Dunne for the next, next opportunity at the next pay-per-view? Uh-oh, this is not going to be good. General Manager Triple H is not going to like this. They better get back inside the ring or something, but they're not not—they're not moving at all. I don't know what to do. There's nothing I can do. Referee's going to keep counting here tonight. Oh, 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 he's almost at the count of 10. Almost at the count of 10. What? Don't let, don't tell me. Don't let it be so. It's a draw. You got to be kidding me. What, what now? Wait a second, wait a second. Hold on. Well, that's a... General Manager Triple H is coming inside to restore order here. Well, it seems like since this ended in uh, quite a bit of controversy and we need a number one contender, I think, Ref, I think we should restart the match. I think we should restart it and make sure it's no disqualifications so that way we have a fair and set number one contender. What do you guys think? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think the crowd is loving the idea here tonight. And I think, what the, what the hell is, is, what the hell is that? Oh, my God, that's Kurt Angle. That's General Manager, General Manager Kurt Angle from Pure Wrestling. The next pay-per-view, Triple H is bragging rights. So be prepared for Pure Wrestling. What the, you gotta be kidding me. Well, that's the news. That's, oh my God, I can't believe what, what just happened? Randy Orton's finally getting up. And I, I mean, I don't, what the, oh my God, what the hell? It's not over. That, that's Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins from Pure Wrestling. He's here. He's invading CJM. What the hell is going on? Seth Rollins, look out. The stop to Orton. What is going on? Look at that replay again. Seth Rollins is here. I'm in shock right now. I don't even know what to say. Pure Wrestling's invading. Roman Reigns can't even believe it. he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what's going on. Look, what the? What? That's AJ Styles. AJ Styles from Pure Wrestling. What the hell's happening? Pure Wrestling is invading. It's AJ Styles. It's Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins is here. You gotta be kidding me. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no way, come on. Oh my God, oh my God. Styles Clash after Roman Reigns. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I am at a loss for words. Pure Wrestling has just invaded CJM. I don't know what to say. Seth is gone and now AJ Styles is gonna leave with him because this it's just crazy, absolutely insane. Ladies and gentlemen, what's gonna happen next on Pure Wrestling? I'm, I'm quite interested to see what the hell's gonna go on. I don't know what's gonna happen. But if you like this episode, please leave a like, share with your friends, turn on those post notifications, and I'll see you for Pure Wrestling.